is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, now wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, this is my school. Family, shake hands with a friend. Shake hands with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school. Family, this is my school. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Morning Announcements. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. Hope you're having an amazing Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday. Now we're on Wednesday. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. That's Amanda Gorman. She's an amazing African-American poet. She really talks about light and people being brave. I know people can get easily overwhelmed, that students, staff, and teachers. But when you see the light in things and you're brave enough to take a risk, ask for help, work, work with other people, that's when light will come. All right? So let's bring light into the world no matter what. Okay? All right. Let's all take a deep breath in. <sighs> Smile. Take a deep breath and relax. Hopefully you did your high five, elbow touch, foot engagement. Our goal, our goal, cleaning up, cleaning our rooms, getting things organized, putting things away. Teachers working with this. This is what we're pushing this week. Let's make it better. Wishing each other well. The world we live in, our families, our school family, maybe someone is sick that we love or care for. Take a deep breath in. We're going to wish them well. Teachers and staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. That is your job. Let's grow together. And I know you get overwhelmed, teachers, but you got to reach out and ask for help as well. There's a whole leadership team. Parents and staff want to help you. You should not be suffering in silence, teachers. Ask for help like you tell your students. We're here to grow together. Students, I can try and work, for, work hard to grow every day. That is everybody's expectation. Every day you can grow. All right, all right, I ready, let's keep it going. We know we have a lot of work to do in this area. Let's keep it moving. Make sure you're on that computer passing those lessons. My older kids, make sure when you're doing VMAF, you're also doing the lesson, not just playing the VMAF factor games. Let's do it. Integrity, doing the right thing when no one is looking. That's very important. Empathy, showing people that you care. Treating the people the way you wanna be treated. That is empathy. MMA, maintain respect, make good choices, and always be safe. This is something you all should know. We've done this in the hallways, outside. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. Everybody's outside playing. It's going to be nicer. So we want to go outside, respect the environment, work together, respect the bathrooms. Again, teachers, you're sending one student at a time in the hallway with a pass. In the lunchroom, we want to be seated and raise our hand. Lunchroom staff got to work together and be on the same page as relates to communication in the lunchroom. We're all working together here. Brag tags, I got plenty of my office teachers, come get them. You see something, say something. Um, about a week and a half to go before grades are updated for trimester two to end. Today for lunch, we have grilled breast um, chicken along with uh, potato wedges, uh, fruit, and of course you have milk. All right, events. Today was Unity Day, so everybody could have wore black. Tomorrow is Black Excellent Day. You dress up as your favorite African-American character. And Friday is T-shirt day. All right, let's do, get it in there. Black History Month. Now, the Wax Museum. I want to be very clear. Some people confused. Third and fourth grade, you are the Wax Museum. We're not going on a field trip. Everybody coming to see you. You are the Wax Museum, third and fourth grade. So make sure you got your speeches together. Your signs and posters are looking great as we are going to line you up in the gym and on the church side. You are the museum students, third and fourth grade. We're coming to see you. We cannot wait. Really excited about you practicing and working together. Good job. Good job. Good job. Come on with the Wax Museum coming up.
Can't wait to see you all. All right. We're getting into March. March is reading month. Let's jump into reading together. You'll get a copy of the calendar sent home. But every day in the month of March, we'll have some silly things you can do. And we'll talk about reading different books. The point of March reading month is to highlight the importance of reading. So we're going to read, 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 and read. That is our expectation for March's reading month. First thing, you need to be reading every night. You should be reading every night anyways, but you're going to have reading logs. And at the end of the month, you turn that in as we're doing reading challenges. Ask your parents to come read to the classroom. Teachers, reach out to adults, um, parents, people in the community. Get some guest readers in there and let's read. All right. Decorate your door as always. We're going to um, make sure we work together and work what we're going to do to do what we need to do. And then also do classroom readings, partner up with different grade levels, partner up in the classroom to read, read, read. All right. That is what we're doing. So I cannot wait to see you all read for the March reading. In addition, some good news. The one book, one school is back starting March 4th. I'm so excited. We have a new book. You all remember last year we had our book as relates to learning how to rhyme. This year, we're going to learn with an amazing person called Zoe. And she has some amazing friends. The first book we're going to read is called Dragons and Marshmallows. She has this clever ind individual way about taking as a scientist and making it exciting. She has an amazing imagination. You're going to love the text. You're going to love reading it as today as a class starting March 4th. Each student will have their own book on Monday. The teachers will read with you those chapters. You'll ask, you'll ask questions. You'll have activities. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Our last book was really fun. Uh, Mr. Reed, Dwayne Reed came out and spoke. I'm excited about our one book, one school. Let's get into it. We're going to have this clever, scientific, amazing young lady named Zoe. That's going to be fantastic. All right. So you'll have more information as the books will be passed out this week to start on Monday. Teachers, you have tons of information, tons of activities. So make sure you get involved with your students. The one book, one school, everyone is required to do it. It's a part of our reading as well as team working together. Something to talk about. All right. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. All right, everybody have a good day. Again, we have a lot going on coming up. And then we got March's reading month. We have our NWA goals. That's why we're pushing read, 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 read. I want to see more reading and partner reading in the classroom. I want to see you reading 20 minutes every night at home. I want to see epic reading. We got to pick up our uh, fluency with reading. You guys are sounding those words out, but you got to read with fluency back and forth. And the way you get better with reading is practice, 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 practice. All right, everybody have a good day.